or pretty straightforward. You just play the same Koki Neos deck, but instead of having a 3 in 20 chance of opening a Neos Fusion or a 3 in 20 chance of opening a Diamond Core, you now have a 3 in 16 chance. And it's pretty straightforward why we're not doing it. Uh, about why we're not running the the more copies of the trap. We just we just didn't we needed the space to to really make the deck filled out. We just a moment. because not that hard to protect. Oh, I'm stupid. There's surrender. I don't surrender very often, but I forgot to put the Neos cards in the view. <laughs> I was wondering why I was like, man, I don't remember mess I don't remember what, what cards I ran in the extra deck for this. Well I think there's a super obvious reason for that, isn't there? We're going to go turn one, uh, Brave Neos. This is like worst case scenario, right? We opened, we opened Neos and Bacon Saver. That's like worst case scenario. You're still depressed about the giveaway? Man. I had to do it that way, man. It wouldn't have been fair to everybody else if I didn't do it. Yeah, but you're not the only one that wanted to win. Ooh, that hurts. Spike chain. <laughs> you don't live in a messed up, I wouldn't say you live in a messed up country. You just don't live in a very good Time zone for uh, for winning Twitch giveaways. Okay, so this guy, this deck is not good. I'm just gonna put it bluntly. I wonder if it's Cyberstein. What's your deck that's gonna get King Games? It's this one right here, man. Good old Koki Neos, but I'm but but this new uh, Sartoria skill kind of breaks the game. So rich, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's actually crazy how many carrots you have. You know what they say, Echilos. Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. Yeah, you only need one to win the raffle. The odds are better, but you only win, you only need one.
We've already seen that the that the odds don't. It's rigged anyway. <laughs> certainly seemed that way, didn't it? Or it would have seemed that way if I hadn't shown the giveaway screen while I ran it. New boxes, Murmel support is unreal. I have seen some. I have seen some Mermail support that looks pretty nice. Some 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 potentially top tier Mermail decks I've seen running around. Probably tier one. Okay, is it sub terrors? Do we got a re a real test here for this? Oh, six Sam's light and dark. Okay, okay. We can assume that's a dual wield. Alright, so I don't have to be afraid of Anishi, but I do have to be afraid of dual wield. We'll see if that's what it is. It could be something nah yeah, it's dual wield. We, strictly, really though, we are we're playing around dual wield here. And I can always just use Maximus for uh, for ice fodder. It's actually really nice getting that trap off the field, back into my hand, so I can use it for ice. I'll take it. Look at the card advantage. This man needs the top deck of his life. Yeah, he does. We're, you're going to see that a lot today, Cutcakes. I'm telling you, this is br this is busted. really going to beat me is a wall of D. Um, yeah, Nishi won't be able to get his effect off, so that doesn't beat me. If that's a dual wield, that could hurt, though. I'm telling you, man, skills broken. Makes his deck makes his deck even more consistent than it was. Ooh, he didn't hit the treacherous.
You did, Aculos, you did tell me that the seal was broken. I just had to figure out exactly how to, how to run it, and, and it's, hasn't, hasn't really failed me yet. I don't know why he normal summoned the keys on and didn't special summon it. I may maybe he was trying to play around ice, but if that's not, a, and I guess if if that's not a monster, then it makes sense. It's crazy. It's crazy how little this deck cares about all the shit that he has done. Blue Eyes is amazing. I I'm actually imagine that Blue Eyes probably abuses this harder than than this deck does. But this deck's really this deck is good, and I have it. <laughs> I don't have to buy three. I don't have to buy two more copies of a structure deck to get it. I, I did play some with Mass Heroes. Mass Heroes are also really strong with it, but I wouldn't say they are... I wouldn't say they're better than this. Just because the, the, meta, the meta has so much stuff that Anki can't get over. The crazy thing about this deck is how often I have this hand. If I have this hand, I should win every time. Neos Aliens is nice as well. <laughs> Neos Aliens, I think, is, uh, is at least a little bit of a meme. Okay, so I should win barring a couple Karibos. They're space neighbors? <laughs> I don't know if they're if if they're a, if they're a true meme, then I probably should play them because that's kind of my shtick at this point. Playing really bad decks, Op optimizing decks that sh that no one should even be playing to begin with. Okay, turn one neos. Yeah, it, it's com it's completely it's completely uh, completely possible that the best way to the best way to u abuse the skill is something like this Neos deck. It's just so damn consistent. Neos Fusion is is the most powerful card in the game probably right now. Either that or Red Eyes Fusion. Probably Neos Fusion though. And then freaking. Diamond Core is like the third or fourth most powerful card in the game. So you have two crazy powerful cards that you can have a one in one in sixteen chance of opening, or three in sixteen. So basically a one in five chance. I know, I know the actual the chance is actually higher than three and sixteen because it's every card you draw the the chance gets higher. We weren't we weren't we weren't ready for Cyber Angels, but that's okay. I think this deck actually can handle them okay. How about fourteen card Cyber Angel? I've thought about it. I've thought about it quite a bit, actually. 
I mean, I think it could work. So he didn't, did he use Machine Angel, uh, no, he never used Machine Angel Ritual, so he has no protection. Oh, this is easy collapse. How about that, boys? Unexpected Cyber Angels. Still got the expected result. I'm happy with it.